Hi, this is Bill Basso. Hello, my name is Shane Mahan. Hi, this is Bruce Spalding Fuller for the Stan Winston School of Character Arts, and we're going to watch a behind the scenes tour of Predator 2. This is the uh, initial full figure design drawing that uh, was done by John mm -hmm. Rosengrant, um, showing the whole critter. There, there he is being sculpted. This was my first job at Stan Winston's studio back in 1989, and um, I remember being really excited getting the call uh, to come in and work on Predator 2, and I believe we were also doing Edward Scissorhands at that time. But um, to work on a, on a Predator film was a real thrill. Uh, Crash McCreary rendering out a, uh, a Predator Face design. This is Shane sculpting the hero Kevin Peter Hall Predator head for Predator 2. And John is working on the stunt head. So we, we literally did everything twice on this film, smaller and larger. So again, we're using wed clay, which is a uh, an earth water-based clay, just to uh, to expedite the speed of things. I think in retrospect, I would have used uh, Roma. This is Bruce Fuller. It's Bruce. Bruce Fuller sculpting the uh, the armored backpack including the medical kit. Here I am working on um, the backpack armor. Again, wed clay. Uh, we did everything in wed clay. Uh, very kind of new experience for me, not doing something organic, but doing something more uh, hard-edged. Um, you know, see those, uh, see those shingles, more or less, on the shoulder piece? That was in Crash's drawing. I was handed a very, very complete drawing from Crash. And Stan's dictum was that, you know, I was to do a portrait of that drawing. So uh, to actually make all those shingles in wed clay, that, um, that was very interesting. Here we got the Predator's bodies being prepared for molding. Uh, this is a wed clay sculpture, so if you were to just leave it out in the open air, it would dry out and crack and fall off the form. And nobody wants that. So what they're doing is they're painting shellac all over the uh, clay. They're sealing the clay. Uh, what happens next is they're going to go with fiberglass with gel coat and then back it up with fiberglass cloth and make a two-piece mold on this. But first the clay needs to be completely, completely sealed so that uh, the fiberglass doesn't stick in it and uh, we can, we can, uh, the clay can sit out in the open air while the, uh, while the mold's happening. And at this point, uh, the mold has been, the, the sculpture has been laid up for a, a two-piece mold. This looks like a test fitting on Brian Simpson, who was a, uh, one of our assistants on the first film, and then he was sort of shanghaied into becoming a stuntman. He's had a, a great career ever since as a, as a stunt performer. I forget how tall Brian was, but uh, he's quite a bit smaller than Kevin. They're doing a test fitting there with Stan. You see, at this point, we were trying to run different color foam right in the same mold. So we would run two different batches of foam. We'd run a gray batch of foam and then a yellowy batch of foam, and we'd paint the gray in and then dump the yellowy batch right on top of it and close the whole mold up at the same time. And you end up with this sort of sloppy but effective two-tone version. You can see the gray sort of bleeds into the yellow, but it gets the basic colors where you want it. This is Bruce Spalding Fuller for the Stan Winston School of Character Arts. My name is Shane Mahan. This is Bill Basso. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this behind-the-scenes peek at some of the effects work for Predator 2.